Welcome to the channel everyone, I am CyberGod, hope you're all doing well. So this video is going to be showcasing my Mech Knight Crawler deck profile, and I'll be showing you all the cards for the deck as well as why I play them, and I'm also going to be showing you some replays of this deck actually being played against other people. So, quick notice before I start the video, this video will be split into sections, so if you need to skip to a particular section, feel free to do so. I'll be showing the deck first, then the main combo lines, and then I'll be showing you guys some replays. So, hope you all enjoy, enjoy the video. I'll see you soon. Uh, the first thing I want to go over is the Mech Knight engine and also the Crawler engine. They kind of intertwine with each other, so I'll go I'll go through it right now. So we have three copies of Gerzu, the Orcus Mech Knight. Uh, mostly, the other copies of the other Mech Knight monsters uh, are ways to get to your Gerzu. So, Blue Sky and Purple Nightfall. Uh, but that's not their only function, but I'm going to go over that later. So Gerzu is going to be your one card combo, which can get you into your Mech Knight play or it can get you into your crawler play and depending on the extensions uh, that you have in your hand you could probably go into both of them and if, it, if you go into both of them it's game over Mech Knight Blue Sky will get you into your Gerzu and also your other cards um, Indigo is going to be one of the main cards in your Mech Knight play and Purple Nightfall is there for resources and also to get you to your Gerzu or your Indigo Eclipse the crawler um, engine is the reason why I play three copies, uh, like one copy of Spine, one copy of Axon, and two copies of Glyle, uh, is for individual reasons. Spine is an easy pop uh, on the field. Uh, Axon can pop and like any annoying spell on trap cards, and Glyle is there uh, simply to uh, recycle these two and also to help get your uh, X crawler onto the field just in case you end up drawing this guy because you don't want to draw this guy he's a massive brick in the hand so and then to finish it off you have your world legacy pawns to flip your monsters face up uh, to get their effects off during your opponent's turn okay so that's mostly the deck right here you have your hand traps as well now the hand traps can be changed um, to your preference depending on what the format is I chose 3 DD Crow and 3 Droll, also 2 Impermanence. And then I have the Call by the Grave during my turn to disrupt my opponent's hand traps as well. So, But Droll was just, it's just too good. I, th I found that Droll does very good against Infinite Track, which for some reason a lot of people are playing now. Um, and it does uh, good against most of the 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 main decks uh, that people play uh, nowadays too. People are still playing live sprite, which um, which I'm gonna get into later. It's one it's one of our, one of my replays. So, yeah, but you can definitely change these into hand traps that you think are gonna benefit you most uh, in the current format. Because at the time of making this video, I like these hand traps, but the meta can change very easily, you know, within a certain given uh, time period. So. Uh, if the meta changes and a new deck is now considered meta and that's being played and these hand traps don't really work, you can always change these hand traps. So that's what that's one way to get them out. I have a Crawler Soma in this deck, only so I can turbo out Link Monsters uh, quickly because Crawler Soma, I can literally normal summon anyone. Normal summon anyone, Crawler Soma, flip the uh, monster face down, special summon Soma. Soma will turbo out two Crawler Monsters in, um, in face up defense position. And then link those two monsters off for uh, a Quailiurk. But I would only really go for this play if uh, I have a dead hand or if I already have World Legacy Mind Meld in the graveyard. Uh, you can also go into a link uh, a rank 8 play as well uh, uh, with uh, Draglubian using uh, number 100 to special summon and number 38 as material. Uh, you can also do this late game as well, uh, but that's the main that's the main concept of the deck. So uh, I'm going to now get into the combos of this deck, and I hope to see you soon. All right, so this match is against one of my friends uh, on a private lobby, so that's why you can see both of our cards. Because if it was a ranked match, you would not be able to see both the cards um, in hand. You'd be able to see mine, but not the opponent's. So that explains it. 
So this is just a friendly match between me and my opponent, but I do want I do want to showcase this to you because this would be what it would like to uh, pull off the one card combo. So uh, let me just sh show you here. So Gurzu, normal summon will summon two tokens after this, but uh, normal summon you're going to send my mail to the graveyard, and then you're going to get two tokens. Now with the tokens, what's really important about the tokens is that you summon the tokens on either side of the extra monster zone. Because where you summon your monster, which should be shown here, uh, will either be in line with this or in line with, you know, the other zone. But mostly, you want to get your link monster and your um, and your token on the other side of the field on the same zone, because then that's easy summoning for your uh, your mech line monsters. But if you have extensions, then you can pretty much do whatever. Okay, so you're going to set world legacy pawns off of um, lib. And then from here, you can go into whatever extensions you want. But the main line is uh, essentially my meld uh, gets banished straight after you set pawns. My meld gets banished. Uh, we'll set Deuce X Crawler into a zone that this that your link monster points to, and then you end your turn. That's the the main crawler line. Now, if you have any extensions, you can go um, into other plays after that. But that's the extension. And then during your opponent's draw phase, or you can wait for your opponent to commit to a monster effect. You flip uh, World Legacy Pawns, you flip your uh, Deuce Crawler, and then Deuce Crawler will literally negate any monster effects that they activate on the field as soon as it's flipped face up. But here, I'm going to go into a Mech Knight play because I want to try and combine the two. So, Mech Knight, purple, um, purple Nightfall, gets banished because it's summoned into this zone, gets banished, searches Blue Sky. Blue Sky is going to grab me Indigo. And I'm now going to link summon. By the way, it could be any link monster that you can that you can banish um, uh, World Legacy my meld off of, uh, just as long as it's pointing to any of these zones, these zones that you can actually summon like into. Now Morning Star is going to discard Indigo Eclipse. What I should have done here was discarded Indigo Eclipse and grabbed um, World Legacy Secrets by grabbed whispers instead because I was more worried about spell negate uh, like spell negates uh, as opposed to monster negates because I have my monster negate already so set one my meld is gonna set deuce crawler and turn is ended now here it's better to wait it's better to wait to uh, commit uh, for if your opponent to commit to a monster effect and then you activate World Legacy Pawns and commit to the Monster Negate. Because when they commit to a play, they have less options. Whereas if you just draw phase, turbo this out, that gives your opponent time to think, and then they can probably find a way around it. But when they commit to their monster effect, they've committed to a specific combo line. And then when you negate that, that limits their options. So now, even if they do decide to clear this now, they already committed to the monster effect negate, which is, sorry, the monster effects, which they can't activate again. So it's better to wait until your opponent actually does something. So I'm gonna activate pawns, but I'm not gonna flip this card because my opponent hasn't actually done anything yet. So here I get uh, I get Soma, but um, so I'm gonna flip this card. They activate with Boku, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna flip this card. They don't know what this card does yet, so I'm gonna Soma flip this card back face down for a later turn. Soma is going to give me two crawler monsters. Now, the reason why I did this face down is because this is a spell uh, spell truck card destruction card, so I decided to have this face down, this one face up because I want to go into a link play. Pawns is going to flip this card face up, and this card is going to destroy their face down, and then now I'm going to link play. Now, I forget that they actually activated Waboku. So, nothing actually happens here. Okay, so here, and this is why it's good because if you if you don't commit, they won't know exactly what's lethal from what's not unless they actually do the impossible and read your cards. <laughs> so, yeah, but um, no one knows what this does yet. When I say no one, I mean majority of players do not know what this does yet, because this this does not get played. 
X crawler just literally just doesn't get played. So uh, they grab a kaiju. They're wondering what's a kaiju. I draw them, but it doesn't really matter from here because they can do whatever. So they're gonna decide which one to actually kaiju. They go for the monster with the highest attack points currently. This ha has the most attack points, but it's in defense position. Um, so they choose this one, which is funny. So this card can actually reduce all the attack points of these monsters to zero. But this card is face up, so it gets negated. And so does that. Okay, because if you read the card, after this card's face up, while it's in the monster zone, negate all monster effects activated on your opponent's field. Okay, so you want this set, you want to flip it face up, and when it's flipped face up, this effect doesn't activate. It's just, when it's flipped up, bam. You can't activate any monster effects. They're going to attack into this card. I'm going to have those two face down. You can't do it like... Um, uh, face up, I believe. Yeah, it has to be face down defense position. But that's fine because um, it's fine because once it's flipped, I can get rid of uh, the kaiju, so it makes my life easier. And this one can get rid of a card that I desire to, but I didn't really care about the spell and track card, the destruction, because they can't really do anything. Uh, Raver to Nest can't do anything against attacks. And this this Kaiju, uh, this Kyoto Rule to Front doesn't do anything against the tags either. So it's mainly the monster I was worried about. But because of this Kaiju that they gave me, I can actually remove three Kaiju counters and then just stop them from doing anything. So that's what happens here. So now they're just going to have to watch. And that's it. Alright, so, this battle is against, uh, do you remember me talking earlier about Life Tin Sprite? This is the battle, so this is going to be me going first, I won the, uh, the coin toss, I'm going first against Life Tin Sprite, so this is how it goes. They don't actually have any hand traps here, which is good for me, so I'm going to go through the crawler combo. Two tokens. Now I made a slight mistake here because uh, the token needs to be on uh, the extra monster zone. And the reason why I stress this is because it just makes life easier when it comes to comboing. So, uh, you know, you realize here I didn't set pawns because I have it in hand. So if you have stuff in hand, uh, like succession, like one legacy pawns, you can set other resources instead. Uh, so you can go into either more plays or create more interruptions for your opponent. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, for extensions now. Make my blue sky is going to give me Indigo Eclipse. Mech Knight of the Morning Star is going to grab me. Um, I want I wanted secrets off of this, so I can actually discard the uh, the Mind Meld. So that made me think, you know what? Maybe I should have sent uh, World Legacy World Armor to the graveyard instead of uh, Mind Meld. Uh, and then Lib is going to get rid of the token on the field. Okay, so that's what happens here. So I got secrets. Secrets is going to get set. Uh, World Legacy Succession is going to revive one of my um, Mega Knight Blue Sky cards. And I link into a second lib. You're going to see why. The reason why is because I want my crawl, my X Deuce, uh, my Deuce X Crawler to be under a Mega Knight monster. Like that. And then I'm going to link away into Crusader Evermax. And it's GG's, they can't do anything. You're going to see here. Mech Knight, uh, so Crusader, uh, Crusader Evermax is a Mech Knight monster. So we have this one, World Legacy Secrets, which negates any monster effects your opponent activates in the same column as the Mech Knight monster you control. And we have the same effect here for Whispers, except it's for spell cards. So we have our monster negate here under a Mech Knight monster, and we have our spell and trap cards. Uh, sorry, just spell cards negates, which you're going to see here. So I'm going to grab Indigo Eclipse. They're going to activate Secret Password, but it's under, um, it's in the same column as a Meg Knight monster. So Secrets negate. They uh, they normal summon Life Twin Leela. Their World Legacy Pawns, Flip Crawler, that gets negated. 
they're gonna they're gonna turbo out some sprite um, sprite monsters because they're level two. Sprite elf. Sprite elf wants to revive one of the level two monsters. Gets negated. X Y Z summons into gigantic sprite. Sprite effect negate. And then he just surrenders. He just surrenders because there's nothing you can actually do there. That's why it's good to it's good to to read the the crawler card before you move on to anything else. It's good to read any card before you move forward. So, yeah, but that's what ends up happening. I forget to mention that ma majority of these games uh, was done in Festival. I've played this game uh, with the deck over and over again on Ranked, but um, the XYZ and Link Festival was under was underway at the time. So I decided to put this deck in the, uh, in the event and just see what, you know, actually happened. So that's what ended up happening. So the next match is gonna be against three Raptors. Alright, so I win the coin toss. I'm going first. I've got a pretty decent hand, although it kind of sucks to see two my meld in the, on the hand. But then that forces me to go the uh, the Mecha Knight route, and then hopefully I'm able to send this to the graveyard using one of the cards. So this time I'm going to send uh, World Armor to the graveyard. Token, token. Lib, Lib's going to get World Legacy Succession, and then I can pretty much extend a little a little bit from here. But uh, Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse gets moved to a different zone, so then I can actually activate Succession. Armor's gonna get me one of the Mech Knight cards. I prefer Secrets, because then that's a, like a reborn, extra materials for a future turn. Now Mech Knight Morning Star can actually discard a World Legacy card, and my Meld is a World Legacy card. So that's one way you can get that into the graveyard. More legacy pawns. And my mode is going to give me X Crawler, set one, pass. Now, I had no idea what this was what this uh, opponent was actually gonna play, but turns out they were actually playing Rave Raptors. And now Rave Raptors cannot Um They cannot turbo out their level their rank seven if there is a floodgate on the field that prevents them from activating monster effects. The only possible way they can actually do that is if they have two monsters in hand with the same levels and then they have rank ups in their hands. That's the only way they're going to be able to actually turb out the rank 7. And that's not the case. So they're going to they're going to go for the red, the uh they're going to normal summon, try and special summon another monster. I'm going to let World Legacy pawns, crawler, that gets negated. They special summon they go into four tricks. They do some more stuff. That's a hand. That's a hand effect. So that doesn't that doesn't get negated? He wants to detach, get more uh, resources. That gets negated because his cards on the field. He sets one. Passes his turn. And now, this card. This this guy. This is his board at the moment. All right. And he hasn't got much resources. He doesn't have any hand traps. He can't have any hand traps because. I went first, he didn't do anything during my turn, and it didn't give any indication that he could actually activate anything. So unless this guy had his toggle off, there's there's nothing you could have done. I'm gonna set one. Uh, pawns to flip. Destroy his four tricks. I'm gonna link away into Lib. Now, because there's two monsters in here, uh, Blue Sky can actually grab me two cards. And there is literally nothing you can do here. Yeah. There's nothing to do here. I'm not saying Ray Raptors, um, Ray Raptors are, are a bad deck or anything. They're actually a very good deck. They're very dangerous if you let them. But if but there's a high there's a high uh, reliance on monster effects on the field. You know, they need to be able to summon their monsters onto the field, which requires monster effects and summoning conditions. They need to get to their link monster. Um, Y Strix. They need to be able to summon out um, Raiders Knight. They need to do a lot, a lot on the field to be able to get to their rank seven, access their rank tens, rank eights. You know, the recent rank ten, uh, the the recent uh, rare to XYZ boss that came out, the, the more dangerous one. They need to be able to do these things. So, having these cards is all well and good, but having game knowledge at the same time is also very important. You need to be able to know what each deck does. So then you can activate your cards at the right time and not just turbo them out. Okay, so now the last duel 
uh, that I'm going to be showing you is against Dark Magician. I think they had like a Dark Magician, Cash Tira, um, uh, what's the, what's, what, what are those dragons called again? Hold on a second. Confirm opponent's deck. Uh, Bistules, there we go. So you have Dark Magician, you have some Bistules, you have some Cash Tira, but it's mostly Dark Magicians. Uh, that's the play here. They even have the locks. Jeez, damn. They, they had everything here. But yeah, this is how the duel went. I went first during this duel, so let's check this out. Although I don't think I was able to do too much here. Yeah, so here I went for a crawler play to play it safe, because I didn't know what my opponent was playing. I saw that I had um, a draw in hand. I had a DD Crow as well, but DD Crow can do uh, very little compared to what a draw could do. So I decided, you know what, normal summon uh, DD Crow and then go for a crawler play because I have the uh, field spell in my hand. So let's go for these two. Now the reason why I did them face up is because uh, when destroyed, they get uh, they can send my opponent's monsters to the graveyard, and if they activate a monster effect, sorry, a monster effect or a spell trap card effect that gets rid of my monsters, then these crawler monsters can turbo out more crawler monsters. Whereas if they're face down, they actually can't do that. So. He goes circle, grabs. So he got, he went he went circle and grabbed another circle, which is that's very unfortunate. But I'm gonna draw that. They're gonna turbo out Dark Magician. Then they're gonna banish Soma, which is a weird um, option. I don't know why they did that, but uh, by doing that, that limits them to just attacking the face down, which I'm glad they got right. So that leaves me with two crawler monsters. So World Legacy Succession. Uh, they offered me a zone, which is brilliant. Because now look at this. I have uh, two monsters here. So best believe I'm going to get um, Blue Sky on that zone. 100%. Has to happen. And he's going to Bistual um, the DD Crow. I'm going to go Quailiarch. And now the reason why I did this is because this Bistual monster has an effect where if your opponent special summons a Ritual, uh, Fusion, Synchro, Exorcist, or Link monster, then you contribute a light, mo light or Dark monster from the field and then banish it. So I would rather him banish the Quailiarch than banish my Lib. So I'm going to do that. He's going to banish that one. Uh, and then Quailiarch can actually recycle. Um, two of the crawler monsters in the graveyard. He's going to Bistrew again. Now I have to be careful here because this Bistrew actually can send something I control to the graveyard. Stress summon monster I control to the graveyard if this card is sent to the graveyard. Uh, so I have to be careful here. Morningstar is going to send uh, Indigo Eclipse to the graveyard. Grab more legacy pawns, and then my meld is going to get me my X crawler. Okay, so turns ended. This guy probably can't really do much here unless this guy can go into an X Y Z play. I think he does go into an X Y Z play here actually. Circle again. He gets Dark Magician. Okay, so he goes into Photon Strike Bouncer. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, see, so this guy can uh, negate monster effects. So I'm just going to flip uh, Deuce Crawler now. He's going to banish my Mech Knight uh, Blue Sky for another Bistual. But he can't activate. Ac he can't actually activate his effects because it gets negated straight away. All right, so this guy could have saved himself so much time if he attacked into um, this card with Bistual Mag Mag uh, Magnum Magnumut. But... Uh, he didn't read this card because uh, if he did he wouldn't have attacked into this uh, card with the XYZ monster because it's in a different zone therefore this card can't be uh, destroyed by battle and I don't, I don't take any damage either so but yeah this is pretty much over because now I'm gonna utilize these crawler monsters uh, so XYZ uh, monster gets destroyed he tries to negate but that gets negated, he gets destroyed, and that's it. Because from here, I can uh, do a little bit of link summoning, 
go World Legacy Memories, which locks me into Mech Knight Monsters, and then go for a Mech Knight play, maybe summon out Crusadia Iramax, maybe, and it's game over, you can't really do anything. Okay, so that is the Mech Knight Crawler uh, deck profile, right there, with some tips and tricks, and also some replays, just to see you, just, just to show you how potent this deck could be. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna straight up say that this is meta or that this is anti-meta or anything like that, but it's just a it, it's just um I saw that in the story modes for um the you know you know they have the solo the solo modes or master door. And if you think about it, mech knights and crawlers are in the same story. So I figured, you know what? There there must be some sort of synergy between between them, right? It should be. And it turns out there is. So I'm glad I was able to figure this out. Uh, if you guys are interested, I do stream uh, Master Door on a Friday. Uh, I also do some I do some ranked climbs and I also do matches against viewers, as well as um, viewing other people's replays too. So if you're interested, definitely check me out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to show you more replays of this deck be, uh, being put in use, please let me know in the comments. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.